here we are at the 2013 Newport Beach Film Festival where the film In Lua Flowers is about to premiere. We're here with the stars of the film. How are you guys doing today? Oh, wonderful. It's such a pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah, together. So excited. In solidarity. Yeah, in solidarity, in unison. We're not yeah. fighting anymore. I anymore? Uh-oh, is there a good backstory there? There was so much press about it. I know we're all sick of hearing about it, but we've, the, yeah, we've made up our differences. Really yeah. We've all been really worried. You know, we yeah. our hearts have been in this. We make it here yeah. together and represent the film. Happy to see you here yeah. together and happy. The scars have healed. I've been through a lot of physical rehab, but we're okay now. Yeah. yeah. She, she's a little tough. I, really I can tell. About it, that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, now she feels bad about it. Okay. <laughs> so you have my lawyer call you. <laughs> it's getting a little serious up here on the red carpet now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweating right now. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Great guys. Well, can you? <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your roles in the film? Yeah, of course. Um, I play Eric. Um, can't give away anything in the film, but I'm grieving the loss of something and, and needing a, a connection to somebody that will help me heal, essentially. That's sort of the arc of, of my character in the film, really. Yeah. And, and that connection may be Spencer's character? It's possible. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good guess. In all likelihood, <laughs> yeah. If I were a betting man. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, um, I, uh, yeah, my, my character has, has dealt with a loss herself, she's lost her husband, and um, my journey is kind of figuring out how you get back to being yourself again after you have such a, a tragic grief in your life. So. Did you guys find that there was a lot of truth in this film, kind of with the script and finding something new to help you get over, you know, a grievance? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, I think, what initially, absolutely what drew me to the script initially was there were many things from my life that I could draw on. Um, you know, I think that's a testament to Bill, William Savage, the writer-director, is that it's, these are real life things. It's not like, you know, high concept things. This is, this is life. This is love. It's relationships. It's healing. It's very, you know, powerful themes. Absolutely. Yeah. And are you guys from here in Los Angeles? Um, yeah, raised in LA, born in New York. Okay. Yeah. Because we had a chance to speak with the director earlier, and he let us know that the film was uh, shot in New York. So, how was it being there to film the project? Oh, it was a pleasure. I mean, we both lived there, there for like at time. certain times in our yeah. lives. Yeah. So to go back, to shoot a movie in New York is a dream. It is. It's a, there's um, the third character in your movie is always New York City. It really brings a life to to a project, especially an independent film that you couldn't get anywhere else. I think. She stole my line. They're not, there's beef again. <laughs> uh -oh. It's true though. New York is its so own. Smart it's kind. I know. It's, yeah, it's we're brilliant. We're, it's we're like geniuses. It's, oh, that's yeah. why we didn't get along. It's just like we're it's, it's battle of high IQs. <laughs> Butting heads, right? Yeah, that's what's yeah. happening. We're like Mensa enemies. <laughs> yeah. yeah totally. No, but New York really is an, is its own character. Yeah, it, yeah. You are constantly forced to interact with the fact that. There are cabs, there's people, yeah, there's people buildings. It's and sounds and construction. Yeah, and so much busyness. And just like letting it be a part of, of what you do in the moment. And it brings so much life to, to what you're doing, to just like stay committed to your characters, to stay committed to the story that's happening, regardless of what what's going on around you. For instance, or using it to your advantage. Just this, this very scene is a perfect example of what you said. Yes. This was not planned and, and things happen. Raining. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we had to deal with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Improv moment. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that sounds extremely exciting for the for the screening that everyone will get to see here. Yes. Have you guys been to the Newport Beach Film Festival before? I have not. This is my first time. I'm really excited. No, I'm, no this is my first time too. I, ha I had a friend who was in it last year and I meant to come down and didn't get a chance to. So, I, but I'm really happy to be here, <laughs> which I feel really, now I'm like really guilty. <laughs> I'm like, I now I need to call them. I think you should air that and grievance. Really got, um, right there, you can apologize you No, I'm right so now. sorry I didn't come last year. Get that but I'm really happy chest. that I'm here now, and I'm so proud to be a part of this wonderful festival. Fantastic. Yeah, Thank it's you. a great festival. Better late than never that you come, right? We're thrilled to have you here. Thank you for speaking to Thank us. Thank you so Thank much. You. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure. It really is. I'm Josh. I'm Spencer. And we're here with a film called <laughs> In Lua Flowers, Flowers of the Newport Beach, Beach Film, film festival. festival. Nailed it. That was awesome. Oh. Ow. <laughs>